I'm a pregnant woman. Very few months I will be giving birth, but I can still ride an EV bike. Uganda's electric vehicle subsector players are quickly harnessing the global renewable energy agenda, evidenced by accelerated partnerships. Nothing can happen with one company or one safe border or one Gogo Electric or one Ministry of Science and Technology. We need to come all together as providers who work in this ecosystem. Safe border is deepening its mark as a pioneer innovator in Uganda's transport sector, collaborating with government and other innovators to transition the country off its dependency on fossil fuels. This can now seamlessly link to the mass transit because I could basically connect myself through E. Tax exemptions will partly solve the challenges this sector faces, one being the high overhead costs incurred to setting up enabling infrastructure. But if you are importing spare parts and you are inputting some of the components from here, then we give you a tax exemption. We have also made a VAT exemption for locally manufactured uh, uh, electric bikes. Yeah, so the, the electricity is, it is difficult. Um, I think really in the more off-grid areas is where we're going to have challenges when we really go up into these remote areas. For now, even if we have expanded the most across the country, we are still not in proper rural areas where, you know, like Kakaromoja for example. Dr. Monica Mosenero commends the concerted effort by these players and encourages them to compete healthily for the holistic goal of transforming Uganda into a modern country. Wadulo Makanold, UBC Business.